Hey now, Petey Grizz here. So, to celebrate hitting a thousand subs, I promised everyone I would do a collection video, which is going to be pretty long. I don't have a particularly large collection, at least I don't think so, but I'm going to break it up into a few segments to uh, make it a little more easier to digest. We'll see uh, see how it goes. I'll, I'm going to start uh, start going through uh, my 91s for here for part one. And we'll see if I get through all my 91s or we have to break them up. I'll play it by ear. But anyway, let's get right into it. This is going to be a doozy. Starting out, what we got here is a good old Spartan. So, I'm, I haven't pre-looked at these knives, but I suspect this is an... Yes, this is a modern Spartan. So, post-1985. Notice, no... Uh, fluting on the corkscrew has toothpick and tweezers stainless steel shield got the opening layer can opener cap lifter screwdriver and stripping notch don't go home without it a oh, pen blade boo pen blades but there it is and we've got the main blade this has the modern three-line tang stamp victorinox swiss made stainless officier swiss i believe this is the 2000 and 2008 and up tang stamp i believe 2005 something like that i'm not too concerned about it uh, i don't know too much about the uh, more modern knives i'm more interested in the older knives so moving right along we've got the Spartans cohort, the standard. So we've got the Reamer, no sewing eye, pre-85. We've got the fluted corkscrew, key ring, no, no scale tools. This one does have, I think this has a nickel, nickel silver shield, so it's going to put this in the, probably the mid-70s or so. No half stop on the cap lifter. This one's a little gummed up. This is one of my projects I haven't really gotten to yet. Got the can opener. And note this one on that big beautiful blade has Victorinox Switzerland stainless Rost Fry. Nothing on the back. So this is a 73 to 76, the years that they uh, uh, were using blank backs on their tangs. Next up is another standard, this time with no key ring. So, yes, 70s standard. Probably this, I believe, is early 80s. We've got the stainless steel shield now, fluted corkscrew. I'm not going to break out all the tools on every knife, especially when they're the same things over and over again. But now we've got the crossbow and officier Swiss on the blade. Very cool. And then... One last uh, modern standard, well, relatively modern, and this is, note, a five-turn corkscrew. This has Swiss pat on the can opener, so that places it prior to 1971, likely somewhere between 1968 and 71, due to the fact that it has a key ring and not a bail. And, of course, it has the clip blade. Bong, bong. Moving on. Now we've got a 46 to 51 standard. And these are absolutely beautiful. Notice the bolder, thicker nickel silver shield, the exposed rivets, the bail. It's got it all. It really has it all. It has an all. Beautiful. Five turn corkscrew with fluting. Nickel silver liners. Outstanding. Got the cap lifter, screwdriver, no stripping notch now. And notice it's also on the other end of the tool from the modern ones. No marks on this one. We've got their 46 to 51 lobster claw safety can opener style. Then we've got the main blade. 
this one's seen some wear still in good shape though you can still get plenty of use out of it if you wanted to but this is mainly for display and this has the famous cross with the army swiss emblem victoria switzerland stainless beautiful love it and of course on any proper vintage knife it has a well-worn but still clipped clip blade Next, moving on to another modern one. We've got the BSA Tinker in black. So we've got the, the Eagle Scout, Boy Scout emblem on it. The Weeblos shield, whatever you want to call it. She's got a Phillips screwdriver. That's what takes a Spartan and turns it into a, into a stinker. Then we've got the Reamer with the sewing eye. The can opener to D Phillips. Who doesn't love that? The cap lifter with screwdriver, with the stripping notch, with the lock. Oh, not really a lock, but it has a notch that holds it down a little tighter. And it has the 90 degree stop. Outstanding. Of course, this has the modern Officier Swiss three-line tank stand. Next, we've got the Compact. This has become one of their favorites, one of their best sellers in recent years. Uh, you know, I remember last year uh, after uh, Blade HQ uh, made a big deal about how cool these were, and then they became popular in the EDC and modding community. And then for a brief while after COVID, you couldn't find, uh, it was getting hard to find these things anywhere in uh in the middle mid 2021 so we've got the corkscrew note the pin in the sh in the scales right there it comes with the hexagonal fine uh micro screwdriver and then in lieu of an all we have that beautiful fantastic beloved multi-purpose hook and note that as this is one of their premium knives, it comes with the file, the nail file surface etched on the back of that stippled, as we call it, file surface on the back of the hook. No opening layer. Rather, we go right to the scissors. Get right to the right to the good part. Everybody loves them scissors. Then we've got the combo tool. It's a can opener, it's a bottle opener, it's a screwdriver, and most importantly, you can strip wire with it. Of course, this also has a 90 degree stop. It does not have the little notch to hook it in like uh, the cap lifter does. And of course, the main blade has the three line tang stamp, no crossbow off the CA Swiss, bong bong. Moving on, we've got a 46 to 51. 237 camper beautiful she's got it all nickel silver liners again five turn corkscrew again exposed rivets that big bold nickel silver shield of course the cap filters on the other side the lobster claw clan openers lobster claw can openers on the other side note that these early ones have a nail neck for the polished saw with diagonal teeth, as opposed to the modern ones, which have a, the, the tip is extended so you can grab the tip, no nail neck, and they have straight up and down vertical teeth. Of course, it has a well-worn clip blade and a fairly intact main blade. This one actually has, you can't really see it, but I can see it now through the camera. It says Modini Locarno. Modini Messerschmied would be a cutlery shop in Locarno, Switzerland. Army Swiss in Knoxid this time. So, very cool tank stamps. I love 
Sometimes I have variations just based on the tank stamps. I am omitting a lot of duplicates here. I'm not going to show three of the exact same knife with the exact same stamps. I think that would be exceedingly dull. I'm not going to show all my parts knives and boxes of knives I consider junk. It, it's ridiculous. Next, we move on to the modern equivalent. The modern camper. This has a Supelco, whatever that is, stainless steel inlay stainless steel shield now we've got a key ring we've got toothpick tweezers this one is an interesting one as it has the pen on it so that i guess would make it a camper plus it has the pin four turn corkscrew has some light fluting on it has the sewing eye i suspect this one's a late 80s early 90s and then here we can look at the saw note just i grabbed the tip on the saw now the teeth are perfectly vertical rather than leaning and the surface is brushed rather than polished. Bong bong. Moving on. Here's a pretty cool one. This is the 1899 to 1891 to 1991 Climber Centennial. And yes, it's a climber, not a traveler. They stopped using differentiating on climbers between whether they have a key ring or not by this point. Notice it does not have a hook. The hook debuted this year or shortly thereafter in 1991 this is to celebrate the 100 years since uh, the original production of the swiss soldiers knives you know they've got production they had centennials in 1984 which is since the centennial of when victorinox was started they had the centennial in, centennial in, 19, eight, in 1991 which was the centennial of when they first produced the soldier knives and then they had a, uh, a Centennial in 1997 that was for the first issues of the Officer's Knives. So, got all the same usual suspects on here, but of course the Climber adds those big, beautiful scissors. Note that it's still using a screw. This screw became a rivet the same time, around the same time the hook disappeared, the hook appeared. So this is a very late model with this configuration next we've got this silver tech climber this is one of the first ones i bought i think this scale thing it, i think these are gorgeous i've been looking for a gold tech one those are a little more expensive and uh they're a little harder to find but there are ones with this same configuration in gold same tool set as the last one the only difference is now we see that big, beautiful hook. Note there is no file service on the back. The Silver Tech. And of course, I didn't close it right. Silver Tech. Yeah. Onwards to Das Super Tinker. This one, uh, I'm not sure what these colors are about. It might have been some limited edition, it might have been some company thing. I don't know, but very cool. Uh, don't know the story on this design. Again, toothpick tweezers. Same thing as that last climber, except now we've got the round Phillips driver. So, super cool knife. She's in great condition. Bong, bong. Has the three-line tang stamp, all fissier Swiss. What more do you want in a knife? The super tinker. Onwards and upwards in size and in time here we've got a field master now this is a late 70s field master early 80s perhaps stainless steel shield bong bong very cool field master takes the tools of the spartan adds the scissors with the screw pivot and it gives you the saw. Finally, what makes it a field master as opposed to a huntsman is that square Phillips. And note the little slot for using it as a can key on like old tins of spam and stuff like that. She's a beaut. This is one I actually carry. That's why you see the little dongle on it. Next, we move on to the fisherman. AKA the Drunken Angler. 
these were all just called fishermen back then so you know it, it's not it's not that big a deal don't worry about it in addition to the scissors in lieu of the saw we get the fish to scaler with ruler with magnetized tip with hook to scourger that's what makes it a fisherman no hook on this one this is late end of the 70s early 80s stainless steel shield stainless steel inlay love it next we're on oh it's the fisherman again except this time we've got the square phillips again with the can key the descaler beautiful uh i don't carry these that much but i i do love them i especially love the happy little fish on there you know I don't know if you ever caught a fish. They don't look that happy when you drag them up out of the depth by their mouth. Now we've got an oldie, a beat up beauty that I absolutely think is fantastic. And that is the Woodsman. This is a late 60s, early 70s Woodsman. Look how shrunken and worn these scales are. I believe they were heated up and melted to push them back into place as they shrunk because they tend to peel up at the ends, and I can see some black stuff. It looks like it was burned right there. It's got some carbon on it. Got the five-turn corkscrew this time. Got the clip blade that is well-loved, maybe even abused. Look at this main blade. Gosh darn, look at that guy. Barely nothing left. Might have been broken, probably just worn down. Important thing is we've got the four-line tank stamp on the front, that beautiful Victoria Officier Swiss 57 to 73 tank stamp right there. Bong, bong. Saw still has vertical teeth, brush surface. No worries there. And this one is actually missing. I cannibalized this guy. I forgot all about that. I cannibalized this guy. I took the scissors to put him on another knife. Finally, we've got one of my favorites, one of my, uh, you know, uh, pride, pride and joys here. This is a modern Huntsman, but I have modified it with uh, my Carta green canvas, my Carta scales from DLT. You can see after years of use, they just, they soak up oil and stuff and they just become so cool looking as they wear out. But... So your primary difference between a woodsman and a huntsman, technically, early on, the huntsman would have had a long nail file. They kind of moved away from them in later years. But the main difference, uh, as long as they were counting a difference, was that the woodsman has no scale tools. The huntsman has scale tools. Bong, bong, baby. So I'm going to cut it off right there for this round. That is part one of the 91 millimeters. Uh, stay tuned and shortly I will have up part two of the 91 millimeters. I just can't see making these videos more than 15, 20 minutes. It, it's going to be ridiculous. really is. So thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. Thank you for helping me reach a thousand subs. And I will see you in the next one. Petey Greer is out.